Hey humans, welcome back to my channel, Twenty BLV Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro, it's just this. Ho! Oh, here's an intro. Girl, this is a major, major purchase of the year for me. I've already bought like one huge purchase, which was, okay, I bought two major bag alerts. Uh, one goes right there because I'm actually carrying it. <laughs> but yeah, the Fendi uh, sequin baguette and also the little on the go. So those were my two big, huge, I mean, I've purchased all along, but my big ones. This is even bigger than that, girl. And you know she's a size queen, so here it comes. But first, Thank you to my friends at Rose Forever New York. I love Rose Forever. Um, I just have to show you, I got this bouquet before Mother's Day. So it looks like the day that I got them. Um, I decided to go with a white set of uh, roses in the round hat box because in honor of my mom who has passed, right? Um, she loved pink and as a matter of fact, before she did pass, I did get her a smaller one just like this and I do think they are still going strong. So that's been like over two years. Now they do tell you that the roses will last up to a year, but I have some that are going over two years and stronger. It just depends. You don't want to water them because they don't need water. Um, these are preserved with a proprietary blend of oils and special little that they put on them. And they make these, of course, look amazing from day one up to 365 days later. I'm serious. And might actually have a little smell to them, but they're hypoallergenic, which means, you know, if you've got some kind of crazy allergy to flowers these aren't gonna affect you they are vegan of course and they last and last so the most tragic thing about getting beautiful roses like this when you you know get the store-bought with the stems and you have to put them in water and all that is the week to two weeks later probably sometimes less than a week they're dead you have to throw them out it's the saddest thing and they're very expensive they have a sale going on right now at Rose Forever that, girl, um, follow my link. I'll give you a promo code as well that you can actually get a beautiful bouquet of roses for what you could buy fresh three times in the store. Seriously. They are on sale right now, so definitely get over there and look at all the stuff that they have. All kinds of colors, very vivid, beautiful colors. I've had orange. I have had a black set that I gifted someone. I have had the most beautiful blue, pinks, all different kinds of purples, just gorgeous, gorgeous array of colors. And of course, red in honor of, you know, red roses for love. I have had those too. They have them in the dome. They have them in uh, a dozen. They go all the way up to like, I think 49 roses, which I think that's what this is. This might be 30 something, but anyway. They have all kinds of beautiful stuff at Rose Forever New York. Girl, I'm telling you right now, mm, you are not going to be sorry. They look so luxe in your house for a long time. And they now have home scents. <gasps> right? Oh my gosh, this one is so freaking good. Check out, they have a new line of these beautiful candles that I really haven't burnt yet because I'm I'm just like preserving the niceness of them and I like to show it to you. Um, my whole deal though, by the end of it, I expect to have all, I think they have eight, six or eight. So go check these out too, girl. Everything at Rose Forever that makes your house look luxurious. Thank you to Rose Forever for sponsoring today's video. Okay, on with this unboxing. Should we get a thumbnail? Swing on, let's get a thumbnail. <gasps> I mean, was that a good, yeah, okay. Um, so I had this on, yes, if you saw the title, it is a Pharrell Speedy Girl. Mm-hmm, yes, it really is. I have had this on reserve with Fashion File 
for a minute. I think I got it right before um, the 1st of July. I got it out. And it's been sitting downstairs on my table. And I've just been waiting to do this unboxing because it's so special and so amazing. I did take a peek at the bag. It is c'est magnifique. It is beautiful and gorgeous. Um, so I have to say Jean is the one who influenced me to buy this. Um, I traded, remember my Prada crystal bag? I traded that to Fashion File Plus. She had to put it on uh, Reserve Layaway Girl because it was more than that bag. And then I tried to trade them some other stuff and they really didn't want to give me much. So I was like, well, I'll just every time I got paid from YouTube or every time I got a sponsor or anything that paid me money through, you know, this channel, I plopped it on this bag and I finally got it out and some extra of, of my own money. And then Bill gave me money too. So. <laughs> but I love it. Okay. No longer. Let's, let's, the suspense is killing us. Ooh, girl. I took it out of the dust bag. It came with a little dust bag. Ta -da! Oh my God, what? Look at this fabulous. So this one is not the 25. They made this in the 25 and then like, I guess the 40. Hmm. I don't know. But this one is the 18. So I know you're used to seeing the 20. I have a 20 over there, but this one is even smaller in the 18 size. So it is almost between a Nano and a 20. It's adorable. Oh my gosh, look at it. Just look at it, would you look at it? I don't know if I'm crazy about the huge tag. To me, I feel like it makes more sense to have a smaller tag on there, but you know, this is how the bag came from Louis Vuitton. Um, it just is so cute. Should we do a spin? Let's do a spin. And then, okay, so let's see what it looks like in this inside of it. Um, so I've, I've went past my 14 day return window. And the thing is an expensive bag. Like if you pay this much for a bag, um, you lose quite a bit of money, uh, 10% of that if you return it anyway. So I kind of knew like, girl, if you want this, you better, you better really want this. And y'all know me, I get tired of bags. Something new comes out that I really want case in point this, so I do a little vlog sale. So maybe this will kind of hold its value. Mm. So the difference is when this sold out on the site, when this particular color sold out, it's been a while. I went searching, of course, everywhere. And Fashion File had this one and they had a 25. And there was not much difference in price. Um, retail, I think I did pay about $70 or $80 more to buy it from Fashion File because it was out and it was kind of in demand. And I was like, I really want this bag. <laughs> and so, yeah, she did it. She did the dang thing. But inside is um, the crossbody, whoops, and the textile card, which went flying. But I don't think the person that bought this ever carried it. They just, I guess, said to heck with it. We gonna sell it. And that's just what the hell they did. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it comes with your little, but it says Nano Speedy Pop B. Huh. I guess this con is considered a Nano, but there's the style number and all that on there, I guess. Um, yeah, it is Nano to me. Oh, wait, but here's another. Oh, no, that says the same thing. It's, it's a different one. That's a little thing that does the scanner on it. Okay. And then... And to the lady that time I traded a bag with Jolie, who said, that fake, that's a fake bag she sent you. I'd be leery because of the box. Ma'am, ma'am, exhibit number one, a brown box with the key and the lock inside of the little box. Y'all know I like to be right too damn much. She's, she's got to get over that. But anyway, yeah, it's got the little special edition key and the lock inside there, which I'm going to keep, I probably will keep that with that. And inside it has the special little, I don't know if y'all can see it. 
I don't want to finger it too much. Girl, that's nothing she's ever said or will say again, but yeah. <laughs> there we go. Maybe. Yes. So it's got those, um, those special edition words on it. As y'all have seen, I'm not the first unboxing. She's a little late to this party, but girl, I love. Now, would I love, love, love to sell all of these bags if someone would buy them? And get one like Meredith got the other day. Hell yes! <laughs> that thing is gorgeous. But they also had that in purple. The all leather ones. The Pharrell P9, I guess. Or P90, P9. Mm. But I am in love. Oh, it still has that new back smell. I, I really think the person did not. I like the kind of way they did the um, the brassy kind of. It kind of looks a little antique -y here, you know, kind of. It's got the Louis Vuitton on there, and it's the treated Vaquetta, which I do like that as well. But oh my gosh, it is so adorable. Just something about the special edition ones that they make. They feel a certain way. I know it's not me, but sometimes you can get just a regular schmegular bag like this one, and it's kind of bumpy, but this is just like a smooth finish on the canvas. I don't know. It could just be me. But let's check this out against the Nano. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Here's the Nano in the animation, because this is the only Nano that I have at the moment. But yeah, there's there's a little bit. I mean, you can see it. There's a, there's a pretty big difference there. Yeah. But still, oh my God. Should we check it against the 20? Let's do that too. Okay, so here is the 20 size and here is the 18. So yeah, for two centimeters difference, um, it really does make a difference, right? So it's just between the Nano, and I don't have three hands or I could you know, do this much better, but yeah, here's the size differences between the three. Oh my god, I'm so excited, girl! I don't think it's sunk in yet. I really love it. Oh my god, I love it. <gasps> what do you guys think, though? The big tag, leave it on or take it off and just like put it up somewhere and, you know, like I don't even think it needs, I, I probably won't, but I do love a good bag charm right now. Oh, y'all know I love a good bag charm. I am charming out, yes. But man, oh man, I do love it. Okay, should we see? I mean, I know all my stuff's gonna fit in here because y'all know I don't I don't really have that much right now putting in nothing. Hold up. Okay, girl. The what is it? The Braza wallet, something like that. No, it's not the Braza wallet. It's like the checkbook cover, but they don't really make checks anymore. So now what? Oh girl, I don't know about that. I'm gonna have to shove it in your hole. <laughs> Jean, I always say that for you because you love it, but I don't think it's gonna, I'm gonna have to, I don't wanna shove it. I don't wanna shove it. Okay, so that doesn't go. I mean, I guess it could, but I don't wanna be too. So here's my card holder that I normally carry. Everything is condensed down into a tiny bag right now. So all the stuff that I normally would carry, my Marie wallet, even my Kiragami pouch with a little stuff in it. We'll do some lippy. Why not? And that's pretty much, I mean, if I want to put my phone, let's see. I know all of y'all love your phone in your bag. This is the real, yeah. Now that phone that I have is still a 12 regular schmegular phone. It's not the big iMax or what a maximum, what pro max. God, she's like an old lady I, every single day. I get older and older feeling like my, my people are like, you're more and more grandma-ish every day. I'm like, I am a grandma. Leave me the hell alone. But anyway, yeah, your phone will go in there. No problemo. So let's see. And then we'll, oh, I do like the fact they did not um, screw around with double zips. I don't like the double zip. I'm not a fan of the friggin' double zip. So I like that because you can like, feed it through here if you really want to be secure and you're traveling with your bag and then put it through this little hole get in your hole gene but yeah 
Jean has the 25, by the way. I don't know if I said that. And then you can put your lock on there, and it is secure. Nobody's getting in here, but they could just grab the whole thing and take off. And then you've got your crossbody strap in the same, um, you know, treated vaquetta. Oh, my God, I love it. Oh, my God, I'm very excited. I know. I really, it's late. At, <laughs> it's kind of late in the evening for me. Um, I'm getting ready to do a live. So I'm kind of like over here like, oh, I've been going since 6 this morning, girl. She needs some rest. But normally I'm, I'm just like tangled pink. I really am excited about it. And like I said, if I wasn't, there's not shit I could do about it. Because, girl, um, I'm not losing, you know, two, $300 on a purchase. I'm just not. She's not the one. Now, will I, if I ever decide to sell it, probably, let's hope these purse prices go back up for pre-loved. I mean, if you're buying right now, get what you can. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But it's been like this a while. Look at the chunk of the, oh, okay, girl, I'm not mad at you. with your chunky? Your chunky chunkies. And I put it on the last hole, as y'all know, because I'm a last hole girl. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, yeah, she's so gross. The chunk. <gasps> Hello, Chunky. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I really think they figured out that we're all not uh, 140 pounds or less and, you know, 4 foot 11. They figured it out, okay? Now, y'all know how much I weigh, and I'm 5 foot 5, so it comes way down to... My actual hip bone, I can't show you, but it does. It goes way down. That's what they called me in college. But anyway, <laughs> I love it. I love that it comes down so far. <gasps> what? What are they doing? Is this men's line? I guess it is. It's, is it considered men's line? Because that's the only reason I can think. This daggone strap-on girl, is it in here? It is tiny. It is like, oh no, you're not. Mm -mm, I got it's somewhere else with something else. But mm -mm, she doesn't know, ma'am. But this is ample. I love it. And I can wear this on other things. I have so much more room for activities. I'm excited. I'm very excited. So, yes, I will be. I've lost my little cutter, but I, I will be cutting that. Because, like I said, I'm past my window of return now. There's no turning back. So. Oh, I love it. It fits everything. I am definitely going to carry this. This is, y'all are going to see me posting this on Instagram all the time and everywhere. I'm excited. Let me know, though, guys. What do you think? Luggage tagger now. Jean, I already know you, your, your vote. I'll probably do a community post poll about it. Oh, yes. Thank you to the good folks of Rose Forever for sponsoring today's video. I do love you. And also, thank you guys for turning out and seeing my new Pharrell Speedy. I'm excited. In the Damier Pop, I think that's what they call this. And I like the blue. I love the red, too, because Rakita has the red. Oh, so cute. If I can think, I'll post both of their videos. Jean's unboxing of his and Rakita's unboxing of hers. So you can pop over and see their videos too. Thank you guys again for joining me. I am so tickled pink. I am really just over the moon about, I just love it. I think it's, it's just everything. She's everything. She says that. And then seven months from now, she's like, and um, this one's get, get ready to go. Yeah. Y'all know how I do. Thank you for coming by today. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. If you've watched four, five, six of my videos, we are family. We are friends. Go ahead and hit that button for me. I'll wait. <gasps> Did you do it? Thank you. And do me one more favor, seriously. If y'all see my husband, girl, don't tell him Shh. nothing. Bye. Oh, my God. I am so friggin'. Yeah, she's bought a lot of things this year. Not nearly as much as I have in the last few years, but... I did pump the brakes a little bit, um, and I'm back in a no-buy situation because I'm going on a trip, and y'all know I need some money to, like, I know I said this the other day, I don't even talk about shopping money, like, she's got to eat while she's there, and so, like, I got to be good, because Bill's like, you're not, you're not using my money, this is your trip, this is your girl's trip, 
you're gonna pay for everything. I'm like, wait, what? He's kidding, right? Okay, we'll have to ask him the next live. Okay, guys, do me a favor. Vote on what you think about this. And also, I'm gonna put a video right here. Do me a favor, click on it and keep on watching. It's that thing you do like when you put the bag next to your bed. So like when you wake up in the middle of the night, you can look over at her and say hi. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do, biatch. I'll tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. <laughs>